Hi everybody, welcome to the next episode. I'm going to talk about today what kind of uh, large format camera I'm using regularly, which one I like and which one I don't like. So, uh, first of all, I like to show my uh, medium format camera, my 6x12. The Horseman, it's a walk around camera, extremely easy to use and like to make a, a large format, a medium format negative. And this is a rangefinder camera, uh, I really like it, but uh, the only problem about this one is a focusing, is a kind of gas work and this camera is not capable to uh, do me a tilt and movement when I'm really like from the regular large format camera. So I use this but not a whole lot. Uh, my next large format camera uh, is an Ebony 4x5 which is I used long time ago exclusively but um, it's it's an expensive camera and I just keep it more than like a, a collector's item so I not really use a field too much what I like to show you what I'm using a field all the time is a Toyo VX125 it's an extremely uh, well designed uh, movement is almost all gears the raise and fall the shift swings the focusing is butter smooth the ground glass is super super bright um, made out by metal very well quality and easily fit the backpack so i can take it everywhere i want to so this is this is the camera when i'm i'm shoot a lot um, black and white color slide wherever I can get it uh, I use this the third camera I'd like to show you is a monorail it's a Toyo G it's more like a tank uh, I'm only using this in a studio because it's very very difficult to take anywhere it's a 5x7 I have a 4x5 back on the line reducing back but this one have every movement you ever wanted the depth of field if you take this out it's very very easy to set the depth of field every single image I take this was came out razor sharp I love it but it's so bulky and heavy to carry so this is stay at home mostly And I like to uh, show you my 8x10 camera, which is right here. Hope you see it. Uh, this is an 8x10. So I'm doing uh, a lot of paper negatives and X ray films and black and white films with that. Contact prints. This is a very easy use camera. Uh, same as here, the depth of field is easily to adjusting, even if the 8x10 is well known for difficult to depth field. But this one has a special feature here. It's called a uh, Orbix Micrometric Tilt, which is very useful. Um, to carry this camera is a little bit difficult because the rail everything taken down but I figured it out how I can fit in the backpack and now I, I, I really enjoy it to take out so when I shoot landscape or architecture I'm taking this one or I'm taking the Toyo now let me tell you I use a Toyo I take the back off 
and I have a phase one digital back and it's a huge advantage because I have all the movements and I can be digital also don't get me wrong I, I love the film but um, sometimes I use a, a back and uh, give me very good results uh, but my number one to use a large format is is the film because I think the film is still alive a lot of artists coming in making large contact prints um, it's more for a fine art photographer for commercial work I use digital but for fine art work I use a film and I use a 4x5 and an 8x10 camera so this is all my camera <coughs> I have several lenses with them but I talk about the lenses and the film holders another episode so uh, let me know what do you think have a good day bye